April 5th, 2024, and I want to give a huge shout out to Emma Jolly. Today is her birthday, so you guys can guess and see how old she is today. I am definitely aging, and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself when she goes to college. She's got one more year of high school, but I really don't know what I'm going to do. She keeps reminding me every time we're in the car. She's like, I don't know what you're going to do when I leave. I don't know what you're going to do. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know either. Anyway, y'all guys can guess and give her a shout out and tell her happy birthday. She's at school right now. She's not watching. But today we're going to work on our Moonbeams charity. And last month we worked on the first block and this is the one that you make two blocks of. So this is what we did last time. It's a completely free pattern. We do ask for a donation to our Make-A-Wish page. This is our 11th year doing the charity quilt along. And um, so um, we have raised 17,559. We're hoping to get to 100,000. Kevin and I will donate 20,000 and Mark Dunn of Moda will donate 10. So um, we're just hoping we get some donations. So if you feel inclined today to donate, that would be great. And we're gonna jump right in and talk about block two. And um, this one is called Ohio Star Blocks. And you're going to actually make three, four of them. So this is the first one, the second one, and the third one. And Teresa already made these for us so that we would have them before. I'm just going to put one and kind of talk through what we're going to do today. So when you download the free pattern, there's three pages to this. For each block, you're going to make four hourglass units. For each block, you're going to make these round units. You're going to make two each, so you're going to make eight total. So you're going to make eight of these, four of these, and four of these. And I did want to mention, um, we do have more of this navy coming back in stock probably later this month, so that if you guys run out or if you, if you want another navy, you could use this. I did see in Kimberly Stitch Squad, some people were using a navy from Islet, which is a fig tree um, collection. So um, just kind of letting you know. So we're just going to jump right in. Now, I would say this block... It's not too difficult, but we're going to talk a lot about trimming down today. That's going to be like my little teaching thing because um, we're going to trim down the hourglass as we go and we're going to trim these as we go. So the first thing is um, don't cut everything yet. Just cut your B's and J's and you can cut those according to your pattern. And that's because Nova wrote the pattern where we already trim it down. So you don't have to add to those numbers. So because we're going to trim it down, I'm going to cut this way. I'm just going to line them up. And we're going to cut them on the diagonal. And what I'm going to show you, I'm just going to make one. And you're going to make four per block and a total of 16. So when you're doing an hourglass, you just alternate your colors. And what I like to do is put them right sides together and put a pin here. And I'm going to be pressing everything open today. And um, the pattern has you press. So this is how we're going to press today because I prefer this. This is kind of my thing that I'm doing now is pressing open. The pattern is written so that it gives you pressing arrows where seams nest. So you can either do what I'm doing here or you can follow the way Nova and the It's so Emma team wrote it. So I'm gonna put these two right sides together, these two right sides together. I'm gonna use a quarter inch seam and I'm just gonna sew all the way down. Okay, so Frida won. She, she is 17 today. That ruler that I just had, I'll have to look and see what it is. What size it is. It is 
four and a half by eight and a half. Isn't there an easier way to do that by sewing around the square? There is a way to do that, but I don't like that way because it shows by it's bias. And it's just not the way that I do mine. So here I'm going to press these open. And then I'm just gonna put them back together. And my thread color today, I did wanna mention, is color 2600. And I'm not using my normal 2000 because I just don't want it to pop through on the seam. Now, one thing I do wanna show you, cause this kind of came up when I was sewing this weekend. Um, if you do this, you should not be able to see your stitches. So your stitches should be tight enough to where you can't see them and the thread should be blended enough. And so this weekend I did that and I could see my stitches. So I was like, oh, I gotta tighten up my stitch length. I'm gonna put these together, pin here. And so we started today raising 17,559. So we'll see if at the end, if we raise any more. And I am gonna show you different sample maker blocks from four different collections. So you'll actually get to see this in five collections. And then before I go iron, I'm just gonna make sure that my point matches up. From here, I'm going to press open. And then from here, the pattern says trim to three and a half by three and a half. So I did also want to mention we have an hourglass freebie. It looks like this. And if you're ever making a half square triangle pattern and it's not written by It's So Emma or Fat Quarter Shop and you want to know what size to cut it and then trim it, this is a freebie. Just search hourglass unit cheat sheet at Fat Quarter Shop. And that's how this method is done. So when you're doing an hourglass, you know, when you're trimming it down, can we zoom in a tiny bit? Okay. So I want to make sure these two match. The edges of the rulers hit that point and the edges of the rulers hit this point. And then hopefully this matches. Now, if this doesn't match, that's fine, but it should, but this is what you want so that when you sew your quarter inch seams match up. I have not done twisted centers. Um, that is something that I have seen. Okay, that just moved. I have seen a lot of people do, but I have not done twisted centers. So I can't, uh, I can't show that method since I don't do it. And so you have a little bit of waste, but it's not enough to where it's gonna affect your fabric requirements. So that looks nice. You, again, you're gonna make 16 total, four per block. Then we're gonna start building this little baby right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I kinda have everything cut here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull from this board and go to this board because I feel like if I just laid out the entire block, it would just kind of go everywhere. So fabric O and fabric I. I think I have them mixed up. and then in. Now here you can keep 
this is one thing I wanted to point out. Okay, so here, this is a directional print. And when Teresa made these, she kept these two the same direction, these two the same direction, and this one not the same direction. So you can either keep them all the same direction or change them. Um, and then Teresa's philosophy is different than mine when we're sewing, which is totally fine. So she doesn't care about the direction as much as I do. I'm going to um, just do the way Teresa did. And we donate $20,000 from the portion of the sales of the kit to Make-A-Wish. So, yes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is talk about what I cut. When we cut this, all of these little strips we cut bigger except two of them i forgot to cut bigger so those two um l and m but that was just an accident so basically just cut them a quarter inch bigger and that includes width and height and i'll show you what to do with that and it'll actually since i didn't cut those two bigger it's actually going to show you the difference when we get to it so here we're just going to sew these together press and then sew this and then we're going to stop and trim And here, I'm just gonna use the seam press roller so I don't have to get up and go to the iron. Let me see the pattern real quick. I forgot which way. Is it this way? Thank you. Okay, so here, you can see that well, let me do this and I'll, and I'll show it to you. So we cut this bigger, but obviously it doesn't go all the way around and that's fine because we're gonna trim. So hopefully, I'm just centering it. And I'm gonna press open. And then we're going to trim it down to two and a half. Now, if you aren't doing it the Kimberly way, all you have to do is sew it the correct way, cut it the correct way, and you'll be fine. I love the teeny alphabet squares. Is this something I can purchase? Those are called alphabeties, and they come in pink, gray. Okay, we'll see. I did this wrong. No, I didn't. Okay. So one and a half, one and a half. So it needs to be one and a quarter. So I need to put the one and a quarter inch line on my ruler right here. And that's where it is. So that it means, can we zoom in a little bit? That means we're not putting it down here to cut. We're, cu we're putting this one and a quarter inch, which is perfect because that's the center of my two and a half inch square. I'm going to put it right there. And my line is here and here, and I'm going to cut. And this will just keep my block exactly the size it needs to be. What are the benefits of the new iron? Does it make a difference? Yeah, it makes my pieces really flat and it can get, an, it can get a um, wrinkle out of anything. Okay, so that's step one. And then we're going to keep going with H and G. So I'll sew this, and then I'm going to use the seam press roller, press it, and then add this, and then we'll trim, and I'll just keep talking. You guys can comment and let me know where you are watching from. And I love the seam press roller because you know, a couple less times I have to stand up. Yes, Emma is 17 today. So for her birthday, she has drill team tonight, and then tomorrow we're having a party at a local restaurant. 
and her brothers have basketball. It's just her friends, but her brothers have basketball at the same time, so I don't know how I'm going to get everybody where they need to be. Okay, so now since we started this corner, we know that this is the right measurement. Now we need this to be three and a half, which should be one and a quarter from each side. And so you just put your ruler here and trim. And this is just something that it really took me a lot of years to get this down. So if you start this and you get, you know, just start this method, go slow. If, if it's too frustrating, you don't have to do it. It's just something, that's how my blocks get so perfect. So we've got Kentucky, Fort Myers, Florida. Now we're going to add M and L. Okay. And so, like I said, you can keep, you could recut, like if you don't want this to go a different direction, all you have to do is just recut it. And you should have um, that. Now, for these rulers, somebody's asking about the rulers. Now, I'm using the Creative Grid square set that Fat Quarter Shop put together, but it's the two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and six and a half inch ruler. Now, these are just rulers that I just automatically have. If you don't have them, you can still do this method with just the six and a half, but it is, it's a little bit harder. And um, right here, I'm gonna just put this right sides together, do that same thing and add this. One tip on this seam press roller is it needs to be on a very hard surface. So I used to try to do this on top of design boards and it does not work as well. So just make sure you're on like a really hard surface, which is what it's on this acrylic thing. So it's. The table for my sewing machine, uh, Kangaroo and Joey from Arrow. The pattern is not written the way that I'm showing you. So the pattern is written just to make it exactly correct. And that's what I try to do on the live streams. I try to write the patterns the way that most people would like them. But the number one question I've gotten over all these years, I mean, I think it's like a blessing and a curse because some people love it, some people hate it. But what I try to do when I come on the live streams is just show you what I do. You don't have to do it that way. I just show you what I do at home. And if you like it, great. If you don't, you know, you tried it. So now we are here. So we're at four and a half. Now this is the one where, remember I said, I didn't cut them bigger. So. It came out exactly four and a half, except for right here, these little things. So I didn't have to trim that one down because I accidentally didn't cut those bigger. So you can see, you know, you don't have to do them all bigger if you don't want to. And so the rulers, they are from the Creative Grids square set, but it's two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and six and a half. And then, so we've done this. Now we're going to do F, F, and O. And this one's going to be a little bit different. Watching from Kyle, Texas. Well, that is where we are located. Okay, so here I'm going to just sew these two together. Sew these together. I'm going to iron and then I'll put them together. And the back of the table does have like a big thing that it's like a leaf on the back, which is really nice. Someone just mentioned. And then I'm going to press. Have you guys been sewing a lot? I have been sewing so much lately that I, um, I'm so excited my machine is fixed. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna put these together, but I am gonna chop this off because if I don't, um, I won't be able to press open. Do I ever use leaders and enders? I do not. Now, Doug Lico does, and that just means you start and stop with the scrap fabric. I don't because my Juki leaves, I use a Juki 2010Q, I think, and it, um, it leaves a small start and stop, like this is the small that it does, but also I trim my blocks as I go, so I don't have to worry about having a short piece. It lines up. So this one will be five and a half. So here I'm going to use the left corner and I'm going to trim two sides, rotate, and see when I trim this, I trim off all those little loose ends, so that's why I don't use a leader, but Doug does, so like I said, everyone does something different. Do I always iron my seams open? Lately I do. And I'm gonna be showing soon some scrap quilts that I've been doing, and I can show you on the back of those how those look, how I'm doing different ones. So from here, then we're gonna start adding the other way, the E and the D. Now, if you wanted to, what you could do, you could cut all of these the correct size, cut E and D half an inch bigger, and then trim the whole thing down all at once. Because, um, but then it just won't be as accurate, but that's another option. The iron I'm using is the Laura Star Smart U. Ashley can put a link to it. I've been, I have three of them now. So I have one at home and then I have two studios here and oh my gosh, it's amazing. So I'm gonna sew this. I'll probably use the seam press roller and then add this. And you'll notice I have not been using pins today. That's because if I'm gonna trim down, I don't have to worry about as being as accurate because I'm trimming down. So it's one less step. Now this one will be harder to get it all the way down. So I'm gonna just put this this way and then just make sure this stays open. And anytime I'm pressing open, I want to make sure the back is flat, but I really want to make sure the front is flat. When you're working with, with uh, pressed open seams, if you have a bump and you don't get it flat, it's going to be more noticeable. And that is one thing that just drives me crazy. So here I'm going to trim to six and a half. And see, it also gets anything, you know how your fabric shreds a little bit 
or fray, I guess the word is frays. When I'm doing this, guess what? All the fray goes bye-bye. So here's your block. Super easy. So you guys can try that and let me know what you think. And um, that will put the block together. Now, thank you to Teresa. She has um, sewn all of these pieces for us. And so when you're putting this row together, this row is actually the same as this row, exactly the same. And what you wanna be careful with on a block like this, especially if you're new, is to make sure your hourglasses go the correct way. You're gonna make two rows of this, so that's one. I'm gonna show you this one, and then this one is in the center. So what I'm gonna do is at the same time, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna, pin this and sew this, and then we're gonna kinda of sew this as we go. So when I do that, I'm gonna put this together. Um, she didn't press these open, so that's fine, so I'm just gonna do them the way she has them. And what I'm gonna do is poke a pin. So I'm gonna poke the pin right there in the point. And the next point Put the pin straight up and hopefully that's going to match and i do use steam someone's asking if i use steam i do use steam and i starch so everything because i starch is already pre-shrunk so the sh so the the shrinking will not happen with the steam because it's already happened in the process before so i'm doing the poke pin shout out to kelly b and customer service yay And you can see by looking at this, these might be cut bigger so I can trim down. Put this right sides together. And then I'm gonna sew both of these at the same time. So now I'm going to press this down, press to one side. And what I wanna see is I wanna see those points matching and those points not chopped off. And I'm gonna press it again and then I'm gonna show you the difference. Now everything on this block was pressed open except this seam. And you can see it's more bumpy, but once it's quilted, you will never know. You will never know. So I'm gonna press this one open and And this one, I really didn't need to, I really didn't need to make the width wider, but I did, so just trim it. And then here, I just want to double check to make sure I've got my hourglass the right way. I've got this the right way. You want to make sure it's not like this. I mean, of course, if you did it like that, it still would work. You just want to make sure all of yours match. So I'm gonna sew these two together. What kind of iron? Oh my gosh, you guys are asking about that iron like crazy. So it's the Laura Star iron. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna just pin this one too, just for the heck of it, just to have them both done. Do them at the same time. Oh, happy birthday, Sophia. 
She has the same birthday as Emma. A lot of you are hand sewing. Oh, I'm so excited. Anne says, since I watch you, I no longer lose my points. I'm amazed when I look at my project and everything matches. Yay! Now, if you're sewing and you want to make sure you don't cut off your point, you could just watch right here and kind of shift if you needed to. Okay, I'm going to press the way she did. Okay, so here, because I did both seams, I don't want to iron right here because I'm going to get it messed up. So I'm going to finger press them both. And then do that. And just make sure I get this seam down flat. <clears throat> Laura Star does not dribble water. Okay, there was an earthquake in New York. Oh no. Okay, so now I'm gonna pin this. Now, honestly, if you just pin here, it should match up. But, um, I always do the polka pin. I have found that I've been sewing with a much smaller stitch length lately and pulling those stitches out is becoming quite the nightmare to where I'm actually just like, sometimes I just restart a block instead of pull the stitches out because it just takes too long. Oh, thank you to Linnea Reese. Okay, so then poke a pin here, pin a couple here. Oh, everybody is saying they felt this earthquake. I've never been in an earthquake. Okay, now I'm gonna sew across. Okay, so right here, of course, I'm a little bit off. I'm about a sixteenth of an inch off right there. Can you see it? Right there. So see, I'm off right here a little bit. I'm just going to take the seam and go in a little bit. And rethread my machine. Can someone grab me some scissors since I left them somewhere? Please. Oh, I found them. Never mind. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So there's a question about the foot from Elaine, and I bought my foot from Primitive Gatherings. It is not a Juki foot. And I could take it off and show it to you. But it's not the Juki foot. So here I'm just gonna trim on all sides, because see I made this bigger, but as I trim down, I know this is correct, and I know this is correct, because I trimmed as I went. 
So instead of trying to make this 15 and a half exactly, I'm just gonna trim all four sides using this as a guide. And when I do that, I wanna make sure this is lined up as well as this. I need to put my snips on a lanyard. Yeah, I need to do a lot of things. I lose everything. I'm the worst at keys. And then this one, I think I already did. So there's your block. So you're gonna make four of those. This is the foot I'm using. Um, it's I don't know, other than I just bought it online. But it's got a it's got a guide. The one that Juki makes does not have a guide. So um, that's the one I use. How did I fix that point? Okay, so I just went in and we can zoom in right there. And the original stitch is right here. And I just went in a sixteenth of an inch there, and it matched. Okay, so this is the this is the strawberry lemonade collection by Sherry and Chelsea, and these are the blocks. Now, since these blocks are all the same, I'm just going to show you one from each. So this is we're going to zoom out a little bit more. Sorry, I'm going to try to layer them. Okay, so this is sunbeams. This is, I'm sorry, this is Strawberry Lemonade. This is the Moonbeams kit. This one is made by Anne and Customer Service. This is the Antoinette Collection by French General. And this background right here is 13529-21. It is a French General Favorites fabric. Nova made this block using Flower Girl by My So Quilty Life. She used uh, color 182 Bella, and this is her block. Angel made her block using the Honey Bloom Collection by Three Sisters, and this is color 200 of Bella. And then Sh Shelly from Customer Service made this block from the Ridgewood collection by Minnick and Simpson, and this is just a background from the collection. So I'll kind of show them to you one at a time. So Ridgewood, Honey Bloom, Flower Girl, Antoinette, and then from the quilt kit. Oh, this is the one I can't show the whole thing of, right? Okay, so this one, they had to remind me because I've spoiled this before. Okay, so Star of Wonder we put online. Every year we do a Halloween and a Christmas sew-along. So you can pre-order the Halloween and you can pre-order the Christmas. This is called Star of Wonder. It is a quilt kit for sale and a backing set separately. If you buy the kit, it has all of the fabric, and then the patterns will come out online. And we will have free videos, and that will be in July 2024. We will release weekly video tutorials on this YouTube channel with the free blog pattern. So um, if you're interested, this is the colorway. This is what it looks like. These do always sell out, just so you know. Um, this one was designed by Jocelyn, pieced by Nova, and quilted by Joanna Marsh. Okay, now for all my purple lovers, here you go. Y'all asked for purple, I got some purple. Okay, we're going to fold it down. Okay, so this is a Wilmington collection that will be coming out in the summer. 
And the collection is called Violet Crush Batiks. And they put together a block of the month, Wilmington did. The block of the month, the quilt finishes 64 by 85. So this is the first time we've ever done a block of the month with Wilmington. If you sign up, you would get a block each month from July 2024 to January 2025. If you get the block of the month, you get everything for the top and the binding. The backing is available separately. And then you can see the beautiful block. Now they didn't let us know who made this. So thank you to whoever made this and thank you to whoever quilted this. I always like to give credit. I just don't know on this one. But I know you guys, you have been really encouraging me to step out of my zone. So I'm not making this, but it's here for you if you need it. Okay, so every month we do have specials. This month's special is Dainty Daisy by Bev McCullough. And it's got little dots and daisies. And you can see, see the dots and the daisies. So that collection is 20% off for April 2024. Triangles on a roll are 20% off this month. We do that once a year. The Perfect Five book in paper form is 30% off. So triangles on a roll, 30% off. Perfect five books, 30% off. The PDF is not on sale, only the book. And the fabric is 20% off. And then cluck cluck sew patterns, PDFs, and paper are all on sale. This is one of my favorite patterns of all time, actually. The Christmas quilt is 48 inches square. And now I'm going to show you new stuff. So you guys can start commenting and let me know. This, I wanted to let everybody know who pre-ordered in the first round. This is our brand new limited edition Fat Quarter Shop 40 ounce quilty mug. And um, we have sold this in two rounds. Our first shipment sold out. So those, if you got in on the first shipment, that shipped uh, earlier this week. If you're in the second shipment, this will go out in May. But you can see I've been using mine because it's got my lipstick on it. So super excited. I just wanted to show for everybody who got it in the first round how pretty it is. I love it. And then we've got some new quilt kits. This is low tide quilt kit, and this is the Shoreline collection. So Shoreline is now in stock. I'm not sure how long it'll last. This is a Jolly Bar pattern, so the pattern only comes in the Jolly Bar. It's 64 by 80. It uses a Bella Solid. Now that Bella Solid, is um, I think sold out but we have some for the kit only some of the Bella solids are sold out this is 64 by 80 designed by Angel pieced by Teresa and quilted by Joanna Marsh and then you can see the backing this is the veranda quilt kit featuring my summer house by Bunny Hill designs it is also a Jolly Bar pattern, 44 by 52. I'm gonna show you the front and then I'm gonna reverse it to show you the back. Designed by Angel, pieced by Angel, and quilted by Joanna Marsh. Okay, so we're showing it upside down, sorry. So the hearts give it a direction. And then on the back, Let's see. So what she did, and you guys have seen this before, she takes a piece of Ada, she puts the name of the quilt, she added some fabric, she always puts in like a salvage on top, and then she just sewed it down before it was quilted. So you can see the quilting on top of it. So that's the veranda. This is the Rolling Stone Medley Quilt Kit featuring Ridgewood by Minnick and Simpson. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about this. So this is a free block pattern that came out years ago. It's part of our classic and vintage series. So if you want the free block pattern, that's available. We did put together a free setting, which is right here. 
And what we wanted to do with that is show you how you can make a block and put it on point. There is a video, the video is called On Point Quilts the Cheater Way, easiest way to put quilt blocks on point. I always have struggled on, on this and we made this, this one where it floats a little bit and so it's um, a little bit nice, nicer and easier. And again, this is Minnick and Simpson's collection, Ridgewood. Designed by Jocelyn, pieced by Kate Starcher, and quilted by Kate Starcher of Katie May Quilts. Okay, this is called Contrary Husband. This is um, a quilt kit also featuring shoreline with a different blue that you're going to see. This is a classic and vintage pattern, so the block is free. The setting is a low price PDF. The video is called Con What Was the Contrary Husband Block About? How and When to Do Partial Seams Classic and Vintage Quilt. So, two things about this quilt for the free video. We show you, or I show you in that video, how to do a partial seam. And you can see when you're looking at this block, there isn't, there aren't any seams here. So that's a great video to learn how to do that. And then I wanted to point out, this one has the back, a blue dot from the collection, whereas the other one I showed you had a blue Bella solid. And this collection happens to have a lot of low volumes. So anytime a collection has a lot of low volumes, I'm going to show it to you. Anytime a collection has a lot of low volumes, it gives you the opportunity to play with a darker background like we did with our charity quilt along. And then you put these darker pieces on the inside. And then the border, we obviously picked a really pretty floral. The contrary wife pattern is going to be a future video. The purple quilt is called Hey Violet. And that is heavy. Oh, and we do have bolts of the white on white from this collection. Hopefully we have not sold out of them. Now, speaking of, we showed a quilt using this, but this is the My Summer House collection by Bunny Hill Designs. Spooky and Sweet is the upcoming mystery. And so this one, um, the grays are really, I love the grays. Sorry, I'm putting them in. Am I doing it right? Sorry, we've tried to put them where they can put them back easily. So I don't have to refold them. Oh, and the contrary husband was designed by Angel, pieced by Nancy, and quilted by Joanna Marsh. I think I missed that. I'm sorry. And this one, this has a... Um, this polka dot and it's kind of funny because when I was working well not funny but when I was working with it when I was doing all my scrappy blocks it's funny how on the prints or the colored prints the dots look you know small on this white on white they look huge so I just I just thought that was interesting Chickadee Landing is by Kansas Troubles Quilts I know that a lot of the yardage on this collection has sold out um, and is not in stock at Moda for me to reorder. So just wanted to give you a heads up on that because when I reordered, I noticed. So there's got black, purple, and this is Chickadee Landing. And the Peace and Quilt Sampler is now online for sale. And that one we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing some video reels and I'm gonna be doing some new fun stuff that we've been, we've had in the works for a long, long time. So that's gonna be something fun. Hopefully you guys will like it. Um, you, 
the 15 yard bolt is a separate product where you just click on it. So I try to make this one easier for them to stack up. So chickadee landing. The Great Outdoors is a new collection by Stacy Itsu, and I'm going to show it to you. This does not have the panel. This is the half yard bundle. There is also a panel. But the panel is not in the bundle. And I've shown the panel before. So really nice camping colors. I'm not a camper. We were trying to get Will into something, so we took him to like three Boy Scout meetings, and he was like, he did not want anything to do with it, but he didn't want to tell us, and Kevin and I were secretly happy because we were like, I just don't know if we can camp. I mean, I could do it if I had to, but um, I don't think they would have iced tea, so I don't know if I could make it. Contrary husband is beginner, confident beginner, yes. This is called Sunny Day Spotted Fat Quarter Bundle. So Spotted is a basic, and we just put together a bundle of the colors that are available. These are the newer colors. So these are the new spotted colors. And it's nice because they actually all go together. Sometimes when they put out new basics, they don't always matchy match. They just fill in colors they need. But this one you could actually make a quilt with, which is nice. And spotted always starts with 1660. So really pretty. It's very much rainbow. Really pretty spotted. Now Barbie, this is Barbie World. This is the second or third collection of Barbie by Riley Blake. I'm not sure. But this one is definitely, the first one was more the original pinks from the 70s. This is more, I think, from the 80s. Try to keep them. So very bright colors. I think I have it turned wrong. Oh, and Ken is in there. I don't know. Did y'all watch the Barbie movie? I didn't. I don't, well, I don't really watch movies. I will say last night, I've been watching Friends with Emma, and um, I haven't watched that in 20 years, and I was just dying laughing. She has watched all of it. I think we're going to have to watch the whole thing again because it's so flippin' hilarious. Feed My Soul is a new collection by Sandy Gervais. Sometimes Sandy has um, holiday-ish or... I don't know how you, like holiday lines. This one's not. This is more of just a spring collection. The piece and quilt sampler begins April 15th. Is that right? Yeah. So I'm trying to just do these one line because it's easier for them to put them back together. So if you guys are wondering why I'm changing, I'm trying to make their life easier. And the piece and quilt sampler um, it's going to be really fun. They're all the, if you go to the Jolly Jabber blog, all the information is there. You'll also want to follow Lisa Alexander and Susan Aki, who are the authors of the book that goes along with that, um, because they're going to be sewing along too. This is really pretty. I love this red. So this is Feed My Soul. And then Tulip Cottage. This one has a lot of really fun colors. Okay, I'm going to try to do it the other way because it will make it easier. It will be upside down. Let me see. Well, no, it won't matter. Okay, Tulip Cottage by Melissa Mortensen. This one's a really big floral. Like a really, I love big florals on borders. I watched, let's see, when, oh, I watched the Barbie movie when I stitched. I lost interest in it. This one's really big. It's like a all over scene. I can't wait for Midnight Rose in Bloom. Will there be blocks shown of that? I don't think so. I don't think we did on that one. So this one, if, 
doesn't match the Barbie collection, but it's kind of got that same theory of that hot pink that's really popular right now. Um, Peaceful Sampler, Peace and Quilt Sampler is not the same as Peaceful Baskets. Those are two different events. I think you guys like these pinks. And then this is that same floral, just more of a tone on tone. So this is Tulip Cottage by Melissa Mortensen. Um, we got in some gingham fabrics. These are from Hester and Cook. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Hester and Cook, but if you ever go to like a like a high-end cooking store like Williams Sonoma or something like that, they they sometimes have some of their finished products there. So they have finished um, like placemats and they have like finished goods they have plates they have like a whole thing I mean I've never bought any of it but I've seen it but they have a fabric collection now with Riley Blake it is um 2024 monthly placemats but in addition to that they came out with these ginghams that match all of them and I just wanted to show it to you the gingham is a very different gingham than most quilting because it's a different consistency Robert Kaufman, this is Night Owls. So this one is um, a little bit different than we normally um, purchase, but it's um, our sales rep told us that he thought it was gonna be really popular because of the bright brightness. So we're trying some different things. We'll see how it sells. Very big, bold, you know, this would be a great um, big chunky quilt, like with big pieces. So night owls. The new kits for Shoreline um, will be in stock uh, probably next week. We have about six kits from that collection and so we have to um, cut them each one a different day. This one is Little Safari. This one's really cute. I'm just gonna I'll just pop that one and then this will work. It's really cute. This one is, um, I always love uh, baby lines and now my oldest is 17. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do when she goes to college and I'm being totally serious. She, she told me, she said, well, you can come down and have dinner with me on Friday nights. And then Christopher was like, well, then you're going to miss my basketball. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we're already fighting over my time. And I haven't even, y'all haven't even left yet. So this is Little Safari. And then we have several collections that came in that are from Marcus Brothers. And they're different designers, but they all go well together. And I actually saw when they were checking this in in the warehouse and I was like amazed that in the same day everything came in and it all looked very similar. This is Historical Hennas by Cheryl Johnson. And I'll tell a little piggy story at the end. He's kind of in trouble a little bit. And the little safari is cotton, not flannel. So this is historical hennas. I'm going to keep it right here because I want to show you in a second. This is home by Time Worn Toolbox. And there is the prints and the yarn dries. And sometimes we show you the fat quarter bundles. Sometimes we just show you the half yard bundles. It just depends. We just kind of pick and choose and just show you whatever. Peaceful baskets will be online next week, I believe. So this is home. And then the yarn dies. 
they are um, a thinner material. They're actually a yarn dye. They're not printed cotton, if that makes sense. So a yarn dye will be thinner. It will be stretchier. See how stretchy it is compared to this? So see how tight that is? And see how stretchy that is? So it's gonna be a stretchier material. It's gonna be double-sided so you could work with either side and it's woven. So these two I think match really well. That's why I wanted to keep those together. And then Maple House came in. Now Maple House is by um, Pam Buda and her stuff is always super popular. So with her lines, we usually um, we usually just keep reordering it until Marcus Brothers runs out of it. So we usually, if it's Pam Buta, we'll keep it as long as we can. So lots of 1800s reproductions. And this one. That looks really pretty. That make a pretty quilt. And then we've got some collections from Michael Miller. They are all by the same designer. The first two is Pink Baby Love and Blue Baby Love. The designer is Tracy Cottingham. I'm going to show you these and then I'm going to show you the other one. Oh, they're the same. Okay, so we made a pink bundle, a blue bundle, and then a bundle of all of them together. Sorry. So, okay, so there's elephants, bunnies. That's really cute. So I think you can see those pretty good. And then the individual ones come with the panels. I'm not, I don't think the big one comes with the panels. So the blocks are about nine inches square. And the designer is Tracy Cottingham. And then baby girl. The Pam Buta line, the name of that was keep scrolling down. Stop. Maple House. And then um, I have never seen the the um, the T Dow Basics in in like actual flesh, I guess, because when we buy Tilda, we buy it off of paper. And these are so cute. I saw these and was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have them. So this is the blue teal and the red plum T Tow Basics Fat Quarter Bundle. Now T Tow Basics are um, a it's a so T Tilda. I'll talk a little bit about how they how that fabric is stopped or how that fabric is sold it's a little bit different so it comes from i believe england or australia one of those companies it's distributed in the u.s now tilda has some bunch some basics that are solids she has some basics that are these which are called tea towels she's got some basics that are polka dots and then she has collections and the way that the distributor buys the collections is you buy it once and you can never reorder. So Tilda, you know, sometimes it sells out, sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time the bundles sell out and then we can't make more because we're missing one or two SKUs. This is Margot by Figo Fabrics. So we have gotten some requests to carry Figo. So we have two Figos today. This one's like a really dark green. The 
peaceful basket quilt kits have not gone online yet that I know of. I don't think those are online yet. So when we get a collection, we have to do, um, each day we do a different quilt kit when we're cutting it. So that's Margo. This is Alpine Bliss by Jill Labinick. The other one was by Adriana Picker. So. How long is the piece and quilt sew along? It's on the blog, but we'll look real quick. I can't remember. With all the sewing I've been doing, I cannot, I cannot keep track, but it's a pretty long one. We're looking. It goes from April to February of 2025. So pretty, almost a year, like 10 months type thing. Oh, my clappers, thank you. Um, I'll show them to you. Somebody's commenting on my clappers. Okay, full bloom fat quarter bundle. These are by Island Batik. So um, Island Batik has some beautiful batiks. So thank you so much to Heidi Hansen. She says she loves my exclusive clappers. They're heavier and she loves the shape. Yes, we love them too. Thank you so much. And they're not going to match. Just these are made. These are handmade in Houston by one person. And so he, he makes it from natural wood. They're not going to match because they come from different trees. And they are pretty heavy. So this is full bloom. I'm going to kind of just do this. Can you make it where I can see the full name, Sophie, of the people? Thank you. Okay, so Lanny says, Tilda fabrics are amazing. They have beautiful free patterns too. Yes. Really, I've never made a quilt with um, the Tilda fabrics, but I've always wanted to. I just haven't um, come up with a pattern yet. And they're really, the reason we don't carry their quilt kits is because you cannot reorder it. So, and um, so we've never offered a quilt kit because the free patterns, they come out much later. We wouldn't have enough time to order. They're not reordable. It's, you know, kind of hard, but maybe one day. The Peaceful Quilt Sew so Along, everything is on the blog and more information will be coming in a future live stream. And then Anthology Batiks is owned by Wyndham Fabrics and this is their chai batiks. Do you guys drink iced chai tea latte? My daughter does and I've never tried it, but now my son is drinking it and I'm like, oh my gosh. Now we have, um, and then my son drinks Topo Chico's like it's, like he drinks like six a day. I'm like, okay, we have to go on a budget now. He's like ordering them from Amazon because they're cheaper. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, we're going to have to go to, we're going to have to get a Costco membership and go buy a bunch of Topo Chico's to save money because he cannot stop drinking them. I guess there's worse things in the world, right? And then we have Paradise Batiks by Banyan Batiks. Jenny loves the chai line. Am I saying that right? Chai. So lots of fun stuff to look at today. The contrary husband the contrary husband background skew, um, Ashley will have to answer in the chat because off the top of my head, I don't know. And then this is Bunny Dreams by Camelot Fabrics, Bex Morley. And I haven't even seen this one yet. This one we always buy off paper also, if that makes sense. So we never get to see this until it comes in. So sometimes when we're showing this, it's the first time I've seen it too, which is fun. Uh, Camelot always has really nice uh, colors. And if I was ever making a baby quilt, that's probably the first designer, first co company I would look at because I think they do their baby prints 
very on trend with uh, baby nurseries. Bunny Dreams. Dreamer Tonga Batiks by Timeless Treasures. And we can give a huge shout out to Denise and the warehouse because they had to pull all these fabrics to show you. And then Jordan, who's stacking them up back up. And Sophie, who's behind the camera. And Ashley, who is answering all the questions. So it sounds like you guys really like batiks. I, I don't really work with batiks much, but um, I feel like, you know, batiks are something that ever since we've been in business, um, they definitely go in and out of style, if that makes sense. So they'll either, they don't, like, they, they either sell really good or really bad. Never in between. And right now they're selling really good. So that's a good thing. Dreamer Tonga Batiks. Abstract. Okay, abs. It's basically like abstract art, but it's A A, -A B S T R A R T. Katarina Rochella Art Gallery. Now, Art Gallery, I keep their fabrics a little bit longer. So, uh, most people, I will keep their fabrics 90 days. With Art Gallery, I will keep it a little bit uh, longer. Abstra Art, or abs. I hope I'm saying it right. And then this one's really cute. This is a Studio E Garden Party. Studio E, Henry Glass, Blank. Those are all the same company. They're all owned by the same company. So we buy all of these from the same sales rep. But we buy these off paper, and so this is the first time I've ever seen this. This is make a great vacuum or a great... Um, you could you could just put you could just have a quilter quilt this and then put binding around it and it could be coasters. I'm always every time I see fabric I think of what I could do with it like I actually have time to do anything. And we keep our gallery in stock longer because they actually keep it in stock where we can order it longer if that makes sense. So um, sometimes when we run out of stuff it's not by choice. It's oh and this one's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. This would make a really cute pillowcase. Did you guys see? I put out a pillowcase video, and I'll show it to you on a future live stream, but we did a pillowcase video that just came out, and it is so good. You guys can thank Teresa for that. And then this collection I love. This is Clover and Dot. I actually was in Electric Quilt this week trying to color something with this. So cute. This is um, Cluck Cluck Sew. Wyndham fabrics and a lot of fabrics have been having cheater prints which is so fun collect it so when you retire you have plenty of projects lined up you know Emma was telling me oh my gosh I could tell she was talking to another mom she was like mom it's gonna be so exciting when you can retire one day and then you can just travel the world and like do whatever you want and I was like Emma I don't know what you think that I'm doing but I'm not retiring and I'm not traveling the world and I don't know if you've ever met me before but that is not me it's so funny oh this one's really pretty clover and dot okay as far as notions we have a lot of new things we have four things from Tula pink we just got these bags in this is called the trifecta trifecta it's the small bag they all say medium why they say medium i don't know you're gonna have to ignore that this one's 14 by 10. this one's called meteor 18 by 13. and this one's called gift wrapped like a rapture like a like a raptor i was like what's the word okay so gift wrapped trifecta meteor and they're plastic and they they um this is like the i mean they're pretty 
quite, they're not too, too thick. They do have, you know, that plastic. They smell like plastic. And then she has a new Aurifil thread box, which they make it difficult now for us to be able to open them. You have to actually open it. Like you can't, uh, you can't open it without, you can't put it back together. So here is the thread pack. We have an actual photo on our website too. And then I'm so excited to show you these. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we have been doing these mad for plaid bags for a long time. And Jocelyn had this idea that we should do mini. So she took the, she took 12 colors and she made mini ones. And so we have all of these minis individually by color and we have them as a set. And they're perfect for makeup, traveling, airplane, snacks. Oh my gosh, I want all of them, even the purple one. Oh, they're so cute. So, so this is something that is only available at Fat Quarter Shop and it has on the tag, it says Fat Quarter Shop. Oh, this is a great tip. Jacqueline Miner says to put a dryer sheet in the Tula pink plastic bags to help with the smell. And that is a good tip. Um, Tish, Tishua says, I love that people are realizing that girls love dinosaurs too. Okay, now I'm going to show you things that are from, a, we're kind of venturing out a little bit at Fat Quarter Shop to do different things that are not just fabric, they're more decorator. So we have this red velvet ribbon with scissors item. It's, this is real velvet ribbon you can use. The scissors are, I've, they're not, they're, they're real scissors, but they're not really to use. This is really for display. So we, well, unless you use the, the ribbon, which is usable. So we have red aqua magenta, and they all have the same scissors. And then this one's different. This is the natural handmade jute cord with scissors, 20 yards of jute cord. So, but these are really for decoration, to be honest. This next one is so cute. Maybe I'll wrap Emma's birthday gift in it. And for Emma's birthday gift, um, I'm really bad at um, buying stuff online. You should ask Jordan and Denise about that. I just cannot do it very good. And so I actually was wrapping Emma's gift and I actually bought two. So I was like, well, maybe I'll have to keep the other one or I don't know. Anyway, that's typical for me. So these are called the Emma Handmade Paper Keeper Box set of four. And there's four and they come with really cute so they're stackable the one that I like is the big one but they come as a set so you can see how they, they stack so cute so this is called the Emma handmade paper keepsake boxes and it's um it is it's like a thin paper we also bought a lot of dish towels so these are the veggie bunny dish towels Thank you to Teresa Ryan for the super chat. This is the happy flower set of tea towels. These have two. This is the Americana set of tea towels. This one has three different tea towels. These are really soft. These are very, um, they remind me of Pioneer Woman. These are called the weekend set and this one has two dish towels. Then we got some spatulas that I love. I want to just buy them, but you know, I don't cook. So if I buy them, they're just gonna be decoration. So this is the bloom set of three spatulas and this is the springtime set and they're, they're small. They're not the big, but I think they're big enough to use, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Denise says they are. She cooks. I don't. She brings me cookies. Then we got some, okay, these, I, they're really cute, but I was thinking about how I was going to describe it to you guys, and I'm just going to say we bought it because it's cute, and I have no idea what you do with it. They're called Star Paper Garlands. So um, this one is bunnies, and this one is Americana Stars, and they are paper, and they feel like paper, but they're little, like, I think they're so that you could just do, like, garland, and then you could keep this for decoration, or you could just put it on your shelf like this. Okay. 
So that's all I have today, but I'm going to tell you a little picky story. It's sad and funny, and I don't even know what else to say. So he had cancer. I didn't say anything for a long time, and he had cancer treatment, and ever since he had that treatment, he has not been the same dog. So I get a call yesterday, and I'm like, you know, you expect to get a call from the principal for your kids. You don't expect to get a call from the daycare to talk about he may not be able to come every day because he can't get along with another dog and he's like being aggressive to another dog and the other dog is too. And so they might have to only go on certain days. And I'm just like, what? And the lady was like, he has really been not the same dog. And I'm like, yeah, I know. He's been, um, he's been doing where he... Um, he shuns us. So if he's mad at us, he'll sit there and just do this and just sit there and like, and then he's been like trying to like run around and like just, he's just been like barking a lot and just, Kevin is just like so annoyed with him. He's like, can you just get that dog under control? And I'm just like, I don't know. So I need to figure out what I need to do. But so when I went today, I talked to the lady and she was like, oh yeah, he's been really bad. And we have to separate him and we have to have like a whole, we had to make a whole section where we separate your dog from another dog. I'm like, I have four kids. I can barely keep track of them. I cannot keep track of this dog and his behavior. So he came home and I was just like talking to him. I'm like, can you just behave? But of course he doesn't know what I'm saying. And so it's so frustrating. Um, anyway, that's my piggy story. So today I'm going to give away this set to three people. So three people are going to get 12 bags. So that's 36 bags total. You have until Thursday, April 11th to enter. Ashley will pick winners Friday, April 12th. She will announce them on the community tab. What I want you to do is just come in and just let me know what did you like today? Or what do you like about our live streams? Because we want to keep bringing you the best live streams and we always want to be showing you what you like, not what you don't like. So just comment and let us know. I always love to see your feedback. I hope all of you have a great weekend and I will see you next week.